Well, I, I think, you know, every year coaches look at ways they can improve their basketball team. And, and obviously I think there's a lot of aspects where we need to be better. Uh, we took a step back in a lot of categories last year compared to the year before when we made that run to the Sweet 16. So, you know, we need to become a better shooting team. We didn't shoot the ball well at all last year, and I think we've addressed that with our recruiting. Um, we need to be a, a better defensive basketball team. I think as coaches, that's on us to, to make that more of a priority. And we've been doing that up to this point, is trying to get better on the defensive end of the floor and get back to creating steals. We were the first in the nation at one time and, and playing that way. But I think most importantly, the way we need to improve from last year is we need to develop a, a team chemistry and have some guys that really enjoy the game and enjoy each other. And, and uh, that's something we've really been working on is getting our team to bond and have great team chemistry, which is really important when you have eight new guys. So uh, we've been working really hard. Uh, not just not just on the court with basketball, but just trying to do a really good job with our guys and, and their chemistry and the way they get along and, and treat each other and, and cheer for each other. And uh, that's been really good so far. Well, I think when you, you know, we only have really three guys returning, and those three guys played substantial minutes last year. I mean, Alan Baez put in a lot of minutes and should be a lot more experienced player. He's a junior this year and played a lot as a sophomore. So, he certainly should be a, a key contributor as a returner. Uh, brings a lot of toughness to the court. Just a real solid guy. There's always going to be a place for Allen on the floor because of the things he brings to the table. You know, Jamal Palmer had a, a really good freshman year. You know, but I've talked to Jamal a lot about he, he was really good early the first half of the season. I think he had a freshman wall a little bit the second half of the year. Uh, but he's a key guy for us. There's no doubt. He proved that he could play in this league as a freshman. So he's a key guy. And then, you know, View Conde is a guy, again, that played quite a few minutes for us that, we, we have to keep him on the floor more, keep him out of foul trouble because of his size in our league, I think, is really important. So those three guys are really our key returners. They're only, the only three guys we have back. Well, we, we have so many. We have eight new guys, so it's hard to tell. But I think any time you talk about, about newcomers, you, you talk about uh, guys that, that we think can have an impact would be more experienced guys. We're going to be really young. We signed four freshmen. But two guys we did sign we expect to have an impact. Terrell Rogers, who sat out last year at break, uh, he's a very talented player, small guard, a uh, former Division One player, and, and came down from JUCO. And, and Terrell should, should certainly uh, bring some impact and experience to our team. And then uh, Mark Von Botley, we brought over from FAU for a one-year, uh, a one-year stint as a senior, and uh, he certainly, I think, is going to have a, a great impact on our program. He's a tremendous person, tremendous leader, and a really, really good player, and had a lot of success at the le at that level at FAU. Well, we, we tried to, to make our, our schedule a lot more regional-based, and we were able to do that, which I think is really good if we happen to put ourselves in position to get into postseason play. And, you know, we'll have we'll go to NC State early, which I try to do every year, get a little high major. So I think it's great for our guys, and it's a good trip for us. So we'll go up to NC State and play an exhibition. But, you know, we jump right into it non-conference. We have some great some great games against Valdosta, a regional team, and Lee. Um, you know, so we have Miles was a regional game. So we feel like we, we've made our schedule very regionally based, which hopefully will help us in the long run. And, uh, you know, as you know, the conference is so good that you just try to play as good a people as you can, uh, you know, going into going into conference season. We, we have all Division two games except for one, which is Florida Memorial. So uh, we feel like we've set up our schedule where it's good in the, in the non-conference and it will help us get ready for league play.